I thought I would give you, uh, don't take notes on this proof. Let's get another proof going just to show how fun proofs can be. This is what I like to do. Uh, let's take a look. This is actually Mr. Kelly. You know, I like to mark my picture. The given here is uh, a senior photo of Mr. Kelly. So there's Mr. Kelly's senior photo. Uh, and we're going to prove that he is lame. This should be pretty easy to do. Probably the easiest proof all year. Let's take a look at it. So what is number one? Number one is always the given. I know I was given this wonderful photo, thank goodness, of Mr. Kelly. Uh, so we've got that. What else do we know? Some, some other statements. Is his animal name? Does anybody know Mr. Kelly's animal name? He has a dog. This is adorable. Cupcake. Yes, that's right. Cupcake, a big manly bulldog named Cupcake. So that's reason number two. These are statements. I have to give the reason. Yeah, his his statement is the animal name. The reason is, yeah, he calls his dog Cupcake. And the last one, his scream name, if he ever logs into uh, Facebook or chat rooms or wherever he likes to go, his screen name is, for those who don't know, is Timmy Cat, which is just adorable. Timmy Cat. Fantastic. So what do we have here? We've got three reasons. A senior photo, animal name, screen name. Why is Mr. Kelly lame? Well, check it out. What do we have here? We have SAS. So definitely a good reason to prove Mr. Kelly is, in fact, lame. Love it. Moving on. Let's do some real proofs here uh, to get things going. Same thing as 4-2. 4-3, though, is just putting in uh, some more shortcuts. I love the shortcuts. So can we do angle, side, angle? So if, I, if we have this, if I have a, two triangles, and I know that this angle matches this angle, this side matches this side, this angle matches this angle, does it have to be congruent? Yes, 100%. Yes, this is true. So these will always be congruent. Great shortcut uh, to have. How about angle, angle, side? So let's just mark one up real quick. If I know this angle to the next angle to this side, no matter what I do to draw it, no matter how I'm going to go about drawing it, this angle... To this angle it has to be the same triangle so this definitely works so yes these are two great shortcuts for us um, just make sure you go in order like you have to go from an angle to an angle to a side or angle side angle you can't skip uh, a side and an angle you have to go in this order right here so we now have ASA and AAS fantastic so does angle side side last time I gave you one that didn't work uh, how about angle side side? So let's try an example. What if I give you this ang an angle of 30, and one side is 8, the next side in order, and the next side is 5? Is that guaranteed to give you a triangle? Well, I pre-drew this one because sometimes my handle is a little rough. But check this out. Here's my angle. Here's my side. Here's my side. Is that always congruent? Does it always make the exact same triangle? Oh, bummer. It doesn't. Check this out. Here's angle, side, side. See how they're congruent? Angle, side, side. Angle, side, side. These are not equal to each other. This is a big no. And the easiest way to remember that is angle side side. Oh my gosh, we do not cuss in math class. It doesn't work. Angle side side doesn't work. Uh, fantastic. So we never use this one. They may end up being congruent, but it's not 100% true. So just remember, don't cuss in class, and you'll be good to go. Let's try these, make sure we're okay with them. What does this first one show us here if the two angles are congruent? We have what angle? Angle side, angle, angle side, definitely. This is works out. They're congruent. Uh, are these congruent? Mm, don't forget about vertical angles. Mark this right here. Now what are we looking at? We have angle, side, angle. Fantastic. This one right here, remember it's congruent to itself. So again, we have angle, side, angle. goes angle, side, angle. Moving on down here. Uh, we've got some vertical angles here in the middle. So these are definitely congruent. And now we're looking at angle, angle, side. Fantastic. How about this one? Oh, this looks like side angle side here. And what is this? This is side side angle. This is no, they're not congruent. This right here would be side angle side, but this is angle side side, which is itself a bad one. Doesn't work. Uh, how about this one? We have an angle and this. Oh, yeah, if that's a right angle on this side, this has to be a right angle. So we're looking at angle side angle. Angle side angle. Very nice. And naming these, what are we looking at here? It looks like angle side side. Uh oh, don't cuss. Boom, doesn't work. Does not work. So that is a no. Angle side side doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> two triangles, what do they share in common? Right here. Boom. So we're looking at angle angle side. Match those up. Those look nice. And oh, I threw a one old one in here. What is this one? Just to keep it real here side 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 that goes back to 4.2 so the same thing as 4.2 we just added uh, two new ones here 
So let's go to the proofs, check them out, see if we can do them. Again, first thing I like to do is mark the picture. So if I'm given uh, angle X is congruent, draw it on here. I know this is congruent to this. Fantastic. Then I know they're parallel. So uh, XJ, so I draw this little arrow. That means parallel to IH. They're parallel. And what does that tell us? Does that tell us anything? Sure. If they're parallel lines cut by a transversal, think back to chapter 3. Remember, we know alternate interior angles are congruent. So I can tell this angle right here is going to match this angle right here. So I went ahead and added that. I can just tell by the parallel lines. There's always a reason they give you something. So what is it marked here? Um, well, do I have enough information? I forgot something. What else do I know? This is definitely congruent to itself. Now I can look at this. Why are these two triangles congruent? I have angle, angle, side. So now I can prove these congruent. So let's do it. Number one is given for sure. And is there anything in this statement in the given already? Is there any of these angle, angle, sides? Yeah, I'm already given one of these angles done. Check. So I only need, this is done, I only need to prove the other angle and the other side. So let's start with the other angle. The other angle, make sure we name it correctly, we're looking at what? x to j to h. So I'm looking at angle x, j, h is congruent to which one? It touches over here at angle j, h, i. So if I look at this, this is my other angle. Why are they? Well, we kind of set it up here. We're saying alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles, and what do we know about them? They are congruent. So alternate interior angles are congruent, so they got to be the same. And then the last one is my favorite. JH has got to be JH. And why does that? It's the same thing, or that goes back to that reflexive property. It's in both of them. So just a real quick double check. Did I prove angle side side? Yes. First one, the given gave me this angle. I proved this angle. Then I proved this side. It's angle, angle, side. Uh, any order is fine how you do it in here as long as you get this angle, angle, side. And then now I'm ready for the proof. What is the proof? We have triangle JHI is congruent to triangle HJX. Fantastic. And what is the reason for that? Well, sure, we stated it already by angle, angle, side. So that's a postulate. We have it. We can use it. I like these. When I do these proofs, again, I get fired up. I'm going to get a little MC Hammer to get me going here. All right. Too legit to quit. I love it. That's why I keep going on these proofs. Too legit to quit doing them. Uh, let's try the next one. One more proof, and then you're, you're done with these proofs, and then you'll be on your own here. Let's check out the given. Again, I marked the picture. AC is congruent to BC. That's a big one. They're congruent. And CP is perpendicular to AB. So here's CP, here's AB. It's this right here. Boom. And that makes a right angle on both sides. So again, I'm trying to prove, the, prove these two triangles congruent. That's really the whole chapter. Prove them congruent. Number one, definitely the given. Oh, I skipped something. Why are these two triangles congruent? Wow, I'm kind of, there's a couple different ways to go about doing this, but really, I need some information. Here's a tricky one. If you look at the big triangle, triangle ACB, if these two sides are the same, what kind of triangle? It's isosceles. So if they're the same, these angles are the same. So a couple different ways to do this one. This is how I'm going to do it. So what am I looking at here? I'm looking at angle, angle, side. So I'm looking at angle, angle, side to prove this. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Was any of this given, this angle, angle, side? Well, right off the bat, yes, this side was given. So I already have the S. I just need some angles here. Let's do some angles. Let's do the other one that was given. Uh, CP is perpendicular to AB. Yeah, but that didn't tell me anything. Well, it told me something. It told me what? From that, I know that angle APC and angle BPC are right angles. Oof, my handwriting's bad. They are right angles. Wow. Can you read that? Sorry about that. Are right angles here. Let's jot that down. So I know they're right angles. Why do I know that? How do I know they are right angles? And some of you guys are probably thinking, oh yeah, it's it's just because of perpendicular. It's definition of perpendicular. Perpendicular. That means it forms a right angle. So I know they're right angles. What do we know then if they're right angles? Well, then I know angle APC is congruent to angle BPC. How do we know that? All right angles are congruent. All right angles 
arcing, and I'm abbreviating here. That's the angle side with a little apostrophe s. Feel free to write it all the way out, but that's the angle sign. So I know that congruent. So boom. So I've approved. There's a side. I just proved an angle. So I need one more angle. I need to show A and B are congruent. Well, how do I do that? First, I have to say that this is an isosceles triangle. So I have to say triangle ABC is isosceles. So it's isosceles. How do we know that? That's the definition of isosceles triangle. And I'll draw a little triangle of isosceles triangle. And the reason I have to do that is now I can say, well, if it's isosceles, um, and really I should specify it's an isosceles triangle with base AB. Base AB. That lets me know where the bottom of it is so everyone knows. So base AB. So because of that, what do I know? Um, well, I know angle A is congruent to angle B. And why do I know that? You can actually say the isosceles triangle theorem, or you can just say, um, you know, base angles are congruent. Something that lets us know base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent. If you look back at the last one, we talked about this one. This was actually the isosceles triangle theorem. If you want to write that, that's cool too. Whatever you can remember uh, so we know, we know what you're talking about. So we proved up here in number one that that's a side. We proved in number three that we have an angle. And now in this last one, we proved the other angle. So we've definitely proved triangle ACP is congruent to triangle B. CP, BCP, and how do we know that? Angle, angle, side. So that was kind of a trickier proof there, but uh, nothing we can't handle. Fired up here. All right. And uh, the last little thing, we have a, uh, more isosceles triangles are cool. Something that builds off of isosceles triangles are these equilateral triangles. So, for example, if I give you X, Y, Z triangle right here, and it's equilateral, they're all the same, then what has to be true about x, oh, this is rough, y, z, then all the angles have to be the same. So if a triangle is equilateral, then, oops, I already wrote then, <laughs> then what? The triangle is, and this is always a weird word, equiangular, all the angles are the same. Awesome, so if all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. How about if I give you the converse of this? What if I give you all the angles are the same? So here is an equal angular triangle. Then what must be true if all the angles are the same? We know all of the sides are the same. So if a triangle is equal angular, then the triangle is equilateral. So that may come up. Um, this is a corollary to the isosceles. So corollary just means like an additional one and add on to it. builds off of that. Fantastic. That's it for 4-3. Hopefully uh, it goes well for you. Good luck on the match check. We're going to rock this one out with a little MC hammer. Peace out.